Reddit. What is the most embarrassing story you have involving your family? When I was 14 my friend and I went over to my house after a bit of shopping. My friend had to go to the bathroom, which was right by my parents room. I opened my parents door to tell them I was home to see my mom giving my dad a BJ. I ran out of my parents room in horror. My mom ran out, assumed I was in the bathroom and ripped open my bathroom door to see my friend on the toilet. Overall a lot of screaming and trauma for everyone involved. Took a while to have a conversation about that one. Holy crap this is hilarious. Left pee open while I went to get something from another room. Was only out for about 15-20 seconds. And when I came back to my room I found my sister on my laptop. She decided that she didn't need to ask since she would only be on for a few seconds. She said she was excited to finally have proof that I wasn't gay. You're goddamn lucky it wasn't also the time that you just decided to try watching one gay video to, you know, see what it was like and stuff. Kind of the opposite for me. I was showing my mom pictures from Christmas and New Year's Eve. I went into my email for the pictures I had sent my boyfriend earlier. Cute New Year's Eve picture. Picture of decorations and then picture of my boyfriend's hard dong wrapped in Christmas ribbon. My mom burst out laughing. Ran to the living room and told my dad that I wrap up my boyfriend's dong like a present. Then she told me it was a nice dong. Your friend has a very nice dong. Dear. A few years ago when I was still living at home my parents had some family friends over for dinner and to show a slideshow of pictures from both families recent travels abroad. You know, as parents like to do, I was working the projector, or rather my laptop, which was connected to the projector, because it's the goddamn 21st century. Anyway, we get to the end of the visiting family slideshow which culminated in a portrait of their daughters with the Eiffel Tower or some crap in the background. I close out of the slideshow to pull up the next one and there, in the window previously hidden by the presentation, is some cam girl fricking herself with a cucumber. Yep, I had forgotten to close the pop-up windows the last time I had watched P. You could almost see the burnt-in image of their daughter's smiling faces superimposed over her heaving bust. Grab my laptop and nope the frick on out of there, leaving a stunned audience, bathed in blue light by the projector standby screen. TL. DR. The days before I installed pop-up blocker. I have more stories so if there's interest I'll type them up or something. Please do so. My aunt and uncle are nudists. So when they came to visit, in clothing, don't worry, my uncle was showing my dad and I pictures from a nudist cruise I had been on. Old saggy people everywhere, not so much fun to watch. A few minutes into the slideshow, my aunt got up and went to do something. So about a minute later, one picture in the montage was a direct frontal shot of my 60 something year old aunt naked in a beach chair. My uncle skipped to the next pic fast and tried to laugh it off. But I'm never going to be able to exorcise that image from my mind. Nudism sounds so nice until you realize the kind of people you want to see naked are never nudists. My mom invites my brother and sister-in-law over to watch home movies. We watched 3 or 4 until it got to my first steps. We went through a couple of minutes of me on the floor struggling to get up before it cuts to a girl moaning while getting rammed doggy. Style my brother had recorded P over our home movies. On VHS. Back in the 90s and no one had bothered watching them again until that moment. I've got a similar story about me and my friend a 6 year old deciding to watch a Snow White VHS my mom had recorded from TV. I hope someone was there to make the they grow up so fast joke. I was maybe a sophomore in college at the time. Our family computer was broken. And I was letting everyone use my laptop in the meanwhile. My laptop would log AIM conversations. So there was a big history of saved IMs on there. One day, after realizing my mother, parents have been divorced since I was little, used AIM quite a bit. My curiosity got the best of me and I started reading her conversations. To my absolute horror, come to discover that my mother is heavily into BDSM. These conversations described her escapades in graphic detail. There were a lot of words I had to google. I never said anything to her about it, though one day a few years later she caught me, not directly, a friend of hers found out and told her, doing something I shouldn't have been doing, 
and started lecturing me. I interrupted her to tell her that we all have skeletons in our closets and she has no room to judge. She apologized and we've never spoken about it again. I will never unlearn this knowledge, and it haunts me. What the frick is the percentage of people that at all times have naked photos of themselves on their phones? 80%? 90%? Jesus people. Password encrypt. When I was in high school, I had a few friends over at my parents house. We were sitting in the couch in the living room. My dad was doing a bit of cleaning in my parents room. Tossing out stuff they don't need, while my mom was in the kitchen. My dad then walks out into the living room waving a huge vibrator around in the air and in his really loud, booming voice says look at this weird looking thing. Do you still need this? My mom's name here? What even is this? A massager and turned it on. Yes, it gets the best massages ever. My baby brother used to get into absolutely everything. So when he was about 3, he snuck upstairs and started digging around in my parents nightstand. I heard the pitter patter of little mischievous feet running around upstairs so I go to check it out, and find him in the bathroom trying to shove something down the toilet. He runs out as soon as I walk in, and I see a teal and yellow glittery dildo wedged in the toilet. It was around this time that my stepmom heard my brothers giggling and came up to investigate. She looks in the toilet, looks at me, turns bright red. My brother comes running back in and grabs it out of the toilet and proceeds to run around the house hitting random things with it. When he runs past my dad, he just says oh honey, he found my favorite one, TL, DR. My baby brother found my dad's favorite dildo of my stepmoms, and violates our toilet with it, and then launched a full on attack of the house using it as his sole weapon. A few months ago my mom and I drove up to the Walgreens pharmacy. We picked up my allergy medication and another prescription. The mystery prescription had a problem with our insurance so the pharmacist comes up to the window and say we're sorry your husband's Viagra is having trouble with your insurance. I just ended up standing there very awkwardly. How rude of that pharmacist. Assuming it was for your dad. My mom was reading 50 shades of grey. And I had to explain to her. In front of my sister, her two year old daughter and my dad, what kind of lingus is. Had to. Perhaps not the most, but this has happened to me several times. My mom and husband of that time period, has had six, would, well, basically frick while I was in the room. Age 8 in the living room, they though I was passed out on the floor in front of the TV, sex on the couch, at 10 years old, shares hotel room, two beds, sex in their bed, they do it, talk dirty, all that jazz, and at the end, when it was pretty freaking obvious I was not sleeping, but turned on my side looking the other way, my mom said hi to me, letting me know she knew I was awake, wtf mom, that sounds like emotional abuse to be honest, I'm really sorry you had to go through that, was texting my dad about what time I would be back home one night when I was hanging out with my friends. At this same time he had his girlfriend who was about 8 months pregnant at the time living out of town whom he was going to visit that weekend. Out of nowhere I get a text from him saying are you still craving sex cringe he then texted me saying that wasn't for me obviously. I have to. My parents were coming to visit for a week but I was going to be out of town on the day they arrived so arranged for them to get a key and told them I would be home the next day. I get back and say hello etc. Go to check my email. Open a chrome and youporn is the first on the most visited page. Being stupid I click to see what was being watch. Gay 50 plus p. Cannot be unseen. The other was my own fault. I was with my girlfriend visiting some of her family and was staying at her aunt's house. After a long day we take a dip in the hot tub. Her aunt heads to bed. We start getting frisky and my girlfriend gives me head in the tube before we move to the bedroom to finish things. The next morning I'm up first and go to the kitchen. Her aunt is there. Asks if I enjoyed the hot tub. I say yes. Was nice after a long day to have a soak. She says and a little action is always nice as well and winks. I'm sure I turn 10 shades of red. She promises not to tell. The worst part is that I my gf is now my wife and I see her aunt every year. House sitting for my aunt and uncle for 2 weeks. They offered me the use of their master bedroom, which is awesome. It has a badass king size water bed. A very cool library loft kinda deal with a cool little ladder to climb up. And a giant jacuzzi tub in the bathroom. 
I declined out of awkwardness at first and slept in the guest room, but after a week I started to get curious about the waterbed. So one night I said frick it and slept in there. It was glorious, and truth be told the waterbed holds no fault in this tale. It was a champion of a bed and I respect it for what it does. Anyways, I woke up the next morning and decided to read a book. I'd finished rereading The Hitchhiker's Guide the night before whilst falling asleep, and knowing my uncle's a Douglas Adams fan, I climbed up into the library loft thing looking for another in the series, and, oh, oh god, on the shelves between the books sat about a half dozen framed photos of my aunt, obviously taken some 10-20 years previously, wearing skimpy black lace lingerie and sucking on a lollipop picture an 80s glamour shot combined with softcore pee. I was in such a rush to get the frick out of there that I actually fell about 8 feet from the loft to the bedroom floor. I don't even remember it hurting. All I remember is those pictures burning holes into my soul. I made the bed exactly like it was before, and never mentioned that I'd spent the night in there. No part of me wanted to mention that I'd been anywhere near that loft. Although in all fairness they had offered me the use of the bed and it wouldn't have been weird at all had they known that I had slept in there. But damn it all. Those pics. Can't unsee. When I was 22 my mother and I worked for the same 7-Eleven. She as the bookkeeper and I as the graveyard clerk. I lived about 4 miles away and would take the bus to and from work. My regular bus driver was a really great guy and a blues harmonica player. So when we got to know each other pretty well. He would play while driving and I would bang out some percussion on the seats, window, etc. Just before I started working with my mom, she and my father divorced. Dad had been cheating on her for years and mom felt pretty devastated by this, so I would stay a few hours past the end of my shift every day to chat with her while she worked. A few months after the divorce, my mom started dating again. And by dating I mean picking up guys at bars. She and I always had more of a friend relationship than a parent one. So she would tell me about her conquest from the night before and I would focus on the fact that mom was getting on with her life and enjoying herself. One day she comes into work and is really giggly. I can tell that she wants to tell me about her knife so I sit down and tell her to spill it. She then proceeds to tell me how she met a guy named Viper the night before. He took her for a ride on his motorcycle for an hour. Then they rented a room at a motel in town. Usually this is where her story ends since she never told me any of the intimate stuff before. This would not be the case on that fateful day. She proceeded to tell me that she had never had anal before and started to go into levels of detail that I didn't get from P movies. I sat there in silent shock for about 5 minutes as she described it to me. Along with the physical description of Viper. Along with his tattoos. When my brain unlocked I told her that I was happy that she was getting on with her life but that there was something wrong with the fact that she was getting laid more than I was and that I really couldn't handle hearing about her getting railed in the butt anymore. I gave her a hug and went to catch my bus. As I get on the bus I am still in a bit of a daze. I am trying desperately to get the image of my mid 40s short chubby mom getting by dong slammed into her butt. It's my normal driver and he asks if I'm okay. As I start to explain my morning, I notice that his sleeves are rolled up and that he has the same tattoos as the guy my mom banged the night before. I shake my head and ask him if he goes by the name Viper. He says yes, and I ring the bell for the next stop. As I get off I tell him it's been nice knowing him, and I walk to and from work from that point on. A friend gave my a vibrator for my birthday a few years ago as a sort of gag lol you're 18 now, let's go to the dirty bookstore gift. I ended up liking it. I went to use it one day and it was not in its normal spot. My younger brother was notoriously mischievous and it was not uncommon for him to take stuff out of my other brother's room without permission. I freaked out and asked him if he'd been in my room, which he denied. I talked to my dad. Parents were divorced and told him my brother took a personal item out of my room and lied about it. After a big deal was made, I found it in a different place and remembered why I moved it. TLDR. Told my entire family I had a vibrator in my room for no reason. Now Reddit. Here's my story. It all happened when I was 12 years old and my uncle came from Chile to our place in Austria to spend Christmas with us. We didn't have an extra room for him. 
so my parents asked me to let him stay in mine and sleep together with them in their bed. I accepted to do so, not knowing what was waiting for me the next night. The day after I shifted to my parents room they went out for dinner and a few drinks with my uncle and came back around midnight utterly wasted smashing the door open and thus waking me up. I was a little bit scared of them because I hardly ever saw them drunk before. So I didn't move. A few seconds later my parents lay down and my father started to make grunting noises to signalize he wanted to be inside my mother. My mother willingly accepted by grunting back and let him undress her. A few seconds later my parents were doing it, right next to me. I was lying with my back facing them and didn't dare to move or say anything. And then it got louder. My father was doing my mother doggy style and all I could hear was his bell sack hitting her vagina continuously like a very fast meat pendulum. I started pressing my pillow onto my ears but these things don't help crap so I had to endure lying next to my parents doing it like wild animals. Fortunately my father is more a sprinter than a marathon runner and it didn't take all too long. I was relieved and happy I could finally continue sleeping. I removed the pillow from my ears and heard that my mother stood up to go to the bathroom to cleanse herself from my father's body fluids. All of a sudden my father also stood up, went to the bathroom and started doing her again. That moment I realized my father may not be a marathon runner, but he sure is more a machinagan than a musket. So basically I had to endure my parents fricking again for another 5 minutes with their bathroom door open. Sure ruined Christmas for me. TL. DR. My father humped my mother doggy style without realizing I was lying in the same fricking bed. Sounds like Santa wasn't the only one coming. Went rummaging through my parents cupboards when I was younger looking for my birthday presents. Found a DVD of how to make love. Few nights after found them watching it. More recently me and the GF had been playing around and she took some naked pictures of me on her phone. Few weeks later her sister comes over. My GF goes to show her pregnancy photos and bam. There I am all naked. I was home alone one night and decided it was a good night to fap. And I usually do it in the bathroom so I can just aim it in the toilet and flush. But tonight was different. I was feeling ballsy. I took a plastic cup and fapped in my room. I nutted in the cup and decided I'll throw it out when I leave for my cousin's house. I forgot the cup right next to the door. I can just imagine the look on your mom's face when she goes to pick that up. When I was around 4, I stuck my mom's vibrator in my mouth and called it a flashlight. I still hear about it, and I'm 16. As someone who played with his mother's vibrator as a kid, dear lord I'm glad I never stuck it in my mouth. You, you'll never live it down. I'm 20 and my sister brought it up like 3 weeks ago when we were sitting around telling crappy stories about each other as we do. My stepmother routinely embarrassed me while I was growing up. When I was 14 or so, she proceeded to tell me about master bashing. How it was okay and if I ever needed to clean my sheets, she wouldn't ask any questions. Another time we were watching the sequel to A Fish Called Wanda, can't remember name of it, and during that scene where John Cleese accidentally grabs that chick's boobs, she proceeded to ask so, you ever touch one of those before I think I was still 14 at the time. You're extremely lucky that your stepmom gave you all this talk, me, I did not get any talk. Nothing. Only sexual things I learned were from school. My parents really messed me up in that department. Like they would just brush off questions I asked about sexuality and sex. A girl I was dating and I found an old VHS tape. Mid 90s. DVDs hadn't fully caught on yet. It was a sex tape of her mom and stepdad. We thought of all the funny ways we could let her mom find out we'd seen it. Have it playing on the TV when she comes home quiz her about if she had a sex tape what would be on it, that sort of thing. Then decided that some things are funnier to think about than to actually do. The JCPenney ads would always mysteriously disappear when I was a child, and I finally figured out where they went when I walked in on my cousin, 6, and brother, 8, rubbing their privates all over the women's underwear pages. I was 14. I found a stack of those poker cards with the naked girls in them in the trash can. Being a frisky teenager I took them home and I kept them in my sock drawer. This was 1998 so I still didn't even have internet in my house. So, one day I'm in my room and my mom comes looking for something and starts going through my drawers. 
I had forgotten that I had those cards in there and she pulls them out. Keep in mind she is a very conservative and religious woman. I remember trying to explain that I was holding them for a friend or some other crap. I was horrified. I just snatched them and threw them in the trash. She walked out and we never spoke about it again. Are those awkward years? It must be interesting being your room. My maternal great grandfather, whose mother was Jewish and who married a Jew, was a great supporter of Hitler and the Nazis in the 1930s and early 40s here in the US. Active in the German American Bund America Deutsche Bund. When I first learned how to download torrents I downloaded a movie I wanted to see with my family. This was back in the day where most of the torrent site didn't have a comments or vote section. So I tell my family the movie is ready and they set up the projector in the living room. We all gather around and I press play on the movie. It turns out it wasn't really the movie but a hardcore pee clip of a woman deep throating a dude and getting nailed at the same time. My dad lauded and my mom gasped and covered her mouth. I quickly proceeded to pause it and delete it in front of my family and then I left the room in shame. No one commented on the incident since it happened. Haha <laughs> thanks for the laugh. That's freaking hilarious. When I was in the 4th grade, my mom bought me this awesome down filled, periwinkle coat along with matching pants. I was in the school gym when one of her thongs fell out of the bottom of my pants. I freaked out and just left it there, but another kid told on me and then the teacher asked to see me. When I went to talk to the teacher, I took off my coat which revealed two more of my mother's thongs. But basically, the teacher was concerned that I was hoarding these things and told my mom to hire a counselor, and she actually did. TL. DR. My mom's thongs were stuck in my clothes after being washed. Teacher claimed I was hoarding them and I went to therapy. Walking in on my mother and stepfather doing the horizontal mambo, on the dining room table, on my birthday, promptly walked straight out of the house and went for a nice long drive. I was visiting my boyfriend at his house and it happened to be my time of the month. Not wanting to cause a plumbing disaster, I chose to toss my tampon in the trash, neatly wrapped and double wrapped and triple wrapped in toilet paper. Trust me, it was inconspicuous. An hour or so later, I walk back into the bathroom a few minutes after my boyfriend's dad walked out to see a bloody tangle of tissue and an apparent tampon string heaped on the bath mat. Cue horrification. Mortified, I race back to tell my boyfriend I think his dad is creepy pervert with a menstrual fetish when I see his adorable dog with a piece of bloody paper in its happy little mother's mouth. I don't know why I did first assume it was the dog. Little smug bastard. I knew his dad had seen it, and he knew I knew. Needless to say it was a bloody mess. Early afternoon, my mum had her friends over for tea who usually don't step out of the living room, or wherever they have tea. Once they've sat down, there's no reason for them to move for next hour or so. Having this information at hand, I decided to watch pee and bust a nut. I was in the 8th grade so hormones controlled me. Suddenly I hear the women outside my door and panicked. I had enough time to pull my pants up and switch off the monitor. Seconds later they're all in my room experiencing pee and surround sound. TLDR. Desktops are crap. Found my mother's black toolbox full of rubber dongs. We talk fairly open so we joke about it. I'm just thankful that they're still together and have an active sex life. Go them. While looking for a lighter, my friend and I found a cloth about 7 inches long rolled up in his mother's nightstand. He picks it up and starts to unravel it. Out pops his mother's sticky vibrator in the palm of his hand. Worse than that I had to watch him roll it back up into the cloth. I have seen my dad's pee stash, my mom posing for my dad, my dad's penis, my grandpa's penis, and walked in on my brother wanking. You've seen some crap. I was 16 years of age and was taking a crap on the toilet as usual when suddenly the bathroom door flew open and there was my mother and father both completely naked bending over. Tada. Why? I must have been about 16. My little brother had his friend, our across the street neighbor, over to hang out. Since it was right before Easter, my brother decided to go digging around in my parents closets to look for the bags of candy they would hide. Came out 2 minutes later swinging around these 2 FT plus long rubber dildos. He runs outside, 
and puts them on the porch, so it looks like my patio has two boners. I yelled at him to cut the crap, so he grabs them, comes back inside and as his friend says what is that he hurls one through the air, and almost in slow motion I see it fluidly undulating through the airspace of my living room and smack. A critical dildo headshot right on his friend's forehead. Wanted to use my dad's iPhone to look something up on the internet. Went to his safari history and the last thing open was a pee site about women sitting on people's faces. That could have been so much worse. When I was about 8 or 9 I was with my mom in her bedroom. I was reading a book while my mom was doing something in her closet. I got bored of the book so I decided to snoop around my mom's drawers. I opened one of the drawers and I found a very large dildo. I said mommy what's this and she just looked at me with a shocked face and said oh nothing it was just a gift. Still to this day I bring it up just to frick with her. Comma still to this day I bring it up just to frick with her. Aunt Carol showing me her nipple rings. She got them when she was 75. Actually, frick it. I'll take the awkward. My aunt is awesome. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.